Hey guys, it's John with uh, Redwire Gear. Uh, today we're going to be talking about my rifle sling, the Redwire Convertible Sling. It's a two point to single point sling that is usable on every weapon system that I have, which is why I built it that way. Um, you'll notice as we start actually talking about the sling itself that it is, uh, there, you'll see a lot of design cues from a lot of the other big name slings that are out there. Um, we did what from end user feedback and things like that, we took the best features of those slings and we built one solid good sling for you guys to use. All right, um, the way I designed this sling was to be able to use whatever type of attachment system you wanted to do, whether it's the clash hooks, the mash hooks, or the QD swivels, or you can just straight hook the sling to the rifle off of your front side post and your butt stock. All right, guys, um, got my rifle laid out here. Show you guys a couple of different ways to attach this. See that I've got a unloaded chamber indicator here, but just for safety's sake, and this is a safe direction off here to my left. Go ahead and check it again, make sure. All right. Now, the way I designed this sling, as you can see here, you've got your your loops here with your tri glides, and then you've got the same thing on the front. One of the more common ways to attach this, and this is my personal sling, which is why there's markings all over it. Um, is you can attach it straight to your rifle. You can run it off of your front sight post, which this one's kind of short, so it won't work very well, but I've got a sling point mounted up here on the front. You just take it and you loop it. Pass through your tri-glide. Then you want to do what I call a triple pass, which just ensures that nothing is going to happen and it doesn't come undone. Get in there. And of course, doing that's a pain. But once you get it in there, you're good and you're set. And then on the rear, you can run it right off of your butt stop. Close that up a little bit there. And most of your modern butt stocks um, have some, some area where you can run a piece of webbing through it or around it. The Veltor, which is one of my personal favorites, it's got several different options. Now when it's set up in this particular configuration, um, it is not going to be convertible because you've got your solid points here. So there you go, you guys can see that. Fairly simple. Alright guys, now we're going to go over, pretty much it's the same method, but we'll go over how to hook everything up using your different types of hooks. We'll put a... Uh, put a clash hook on the front because with your clash hook on the front it gives you that convertible option so you do the same thing pass your webbing through your tri glide flip it back over do your triple pass if I can get my fingers to work nah, you get the idea all right clip your front your front sling sling point on and then on the rear um, a lot of butt stocks today also have QD points built into them, so we'll put a QD hook on the rear this time. So you boom, same thing, boom, bam, then your sling's all nice and mounted up. Alright, and then here, right here on the back, this metal D-ring right here is your, uh, your single point attachment. And to make it a single point sling, you simply unhook your front, get everything nice and straight, and then you click your clash hook on here, and you've got a single point sling. Alright guys, now just looking at this sling, you're probably thinking to yourselves, wow, that looks a lot like the VTAC or the Vickers or the Magpul or... And you're right, you know, um, there's only so many ways to skin a cat, there's only so many ways to build a rifle sling. What we did here at Redwire was we took what we thought were the best features of all the other slings out there, kind of combined them and made one sling. Um, one of the key features to this one in my mind is, as a normal civilian guy, um, I'm not wearing body armor a lot, but I do have it. Uh, I do occasionally train with it, and I hate having to completely readjust a sling just to be able to use it with my body armor. So I built in some extra adjustment here where you can make this ridiculously long to fit around you, your body armor, your coat. Um, it's winter time, you're wearing a big heavy coat. Um, so that's one of the key features here. Uh, the other is we eliminated the tail that you get on the adjustment with a lot of the other 
sling or the, the other two point slings that are out there. You got simple pull tab with a tri glide. You can see there how you've got no big flopping tail. You just got this one piece that you need to grab to slide in or slide out. All right, guys, that's that's pretty much all I got for you today. Real brief explanation of what we got going on with the red wire convertible sling. These are available for purchase. They're available in a tan or black. Um, purchase price is thirty nine dollars. Uh, you can get them through. Can't get them through our web store yet because we don't have it yet. We're still working on building that. Um, shoot us an email at redwire or john at redwiregear.com or just go to the website and follow the directions. Uh, if you've got any other questions or comments, feel free to shoot us an email, give us a call. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and YouTube now. So, hope you guys have a good one. We'll talk to you later.